Good evening Hackology, welcome to another cool episode because uh, in tonight's video we're going to be looking at transistors and exactly what transistors are. Basically uh, a transistor is a transformative resistor which basically um, is something that changes its current, um, changes its resistance when a voltage is supplied to the transistor. Um, the history of the transistor, basically they replace valves because valves are very hot and very inefficient. Um, it's painted to by a person called Julia Edgar Lillenfeld um, and they um, basically took his patent and experimented on it at Bell Labs uh, with germanium crystals and figured out they could make transistors from germanium. And um, like I said, the transistor is a marking, marketing term, it basically means transformative resistor and uh, it changed the world hugely in many, many, many ways that people couldn't have foreseen, i.e. there wouldn't be any electronics without a transistor. Um, well, in our modern world. Okay, the dictionary defines a transistor as a semiconductive device with three connections capable of amplification in addition to rectification. Did you get that? Good, because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me either. But, um, basically, um, in the most basic terms you could describe it, a transistor is a switch that is controlled by electricity. So when you give a transistor some electricity, it allows current to flow through it. Um, it can also be used to amplify signals, but we're not going to look at that in this episode. Um, okay, so what is a transistor? I'm going to put some pictures up ta -da, and um, show you what some basic transistors look like. And uh, what is a transistor then? It's got three connections. What are they? One is called the base, one is called the collector, the other one is called the emitter. The collector collects the signal. The emitter emits the signal. And the base is the, um, is the connection that switches the state of the transistor. So if we supply it with current to the base, then current can flow from the, emit uh, from the collector to the emitter. Uh, if we don't supply current to the base, no current flows between the collector and the emitter. So when the base has a um, current supplied to it, it turns the switch on. Simple. <laughs> there are two basic types of transistors, PMP and NPM, and they're basically positive, negative, positive, and negative, positive, negative. And they are all constructed from um, well, not all of them, because there are lots of different types of transistors, but um, bipolar and, um, anyway, bipolar are constructed from diodes, so um, basically a transistor is a special type of diode. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is do a little video showing you how to control an LED using a transistor and an Arduino. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this breadboard and try not to move it too far out of shot. And I'm putting... Um, I'm going to plug this one into the 5 volts and into the power arm. So we've got power into the breadboard. And then I'm going to take a very small resistor and bridge the power out the actual breadboard okay so we've got power resistor LED long leg positive okay so just wire this LED in yeah and then simple circuit Let's just close the circuit. Yeah. There we go. You'll notice with the um, resistor in the circuit, the LED is actually green. It's not burning white. And um, using resistors will make the components last a lot longer, especially using the correct ones. So, okay, here's the simple circuit. Now, you'll notice I've got the blink 
pattern uh, blink sketch loaded onto the Arduino at the moment and I'm just going to plug the transistor in so you've got emitter, base, emitter, base and the collector so I'm just going to plug this in over here I'm going to plug it in here. Okay. And so this one will now go into the emitter. And we need to link the LED to the collector. Okay. And you'll notice the at the moment the circuit is connected, but because there's nothing going into this transistor this light isn't lighting. So, what I'm going to do is firstly, um, I'm just going to plug it into uh, pin 13 here, which I know is um, flashing. So, we know that that's, um, this has current running through it. And I'm just going to put it onto the middle leg of the transistor. And now you'll notice that um, this is a completely separate circuit to this. So what we're doing here is controlling this transistor with pin 13. The LED has actually stopped flashing and that's because I don't have a resistor in between. Let's put it on the ground rail. Bad practice but oh, there we go. And so now with the resistor in place, you'll notice that the LED stays on on the Arduino. And that, in the most basic, simple, quickest, down-to-earth way, is transistors. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, and uh, I'll just wind this up a little bit. And last of all, I'd like to say a big shout-out to all the Hack5 crew, uh, to Darren, Snubs, Jason and Paul. Um, and all the Revision 3 crew, um, your wicked big up and thank you for featuring my script on your most recent hack tip. I'll hopefully put a link down here. Um, and you guys, peace, have fun hacking and uh, we'll be back soon. Mm -hmm.